talk just a second about the anatomy of a paintbrush in general. We take a brush like the Magic Dragon here, and we look at the high quality, very high quality and somewhat rare Kalinske fibers, which accounts for a lot of the expense of Kalinske brushes. We look at how they're made. Basically, the brush fibers are selected by master craftsmen, put into a cup mold, and, and bound into that mold. Uh, a coating of a gum-like glue is put on the fibers to maintain the shape of the brush uh, that, as I mentioned earlier, can be washed off when soaked in water so that the body uh, becomes pliable and that the glue comes off. Some master's brush cleaner is also a good solution for doing that and working that in with your hand to remove that stiff quality that the brush will have when you immediately purchase it. Many of the brushes will also have a plastic covering on them to protect uh, the, the fibers from uh, normal wear and tear within the store. Same with the round brushes. They're gone through this, they go through the same process. The body of the brush is molded into a, a form, a base, and then coated so that you'll notice that the, the outer surface of a round brush feels quite hard when you purchase it from the store even after you remove the uh, protective uh, plastic cap. The ferrule of the brush should be tightly fitting at the base and you should see a very tightly fitting uh, dense hair at the, the base of the, the brush tip. Ferrule should not be loose when you wiggle it, no movement there, uh, and it's not difficult to tell a high quality brush shaft with a really nice enamel coating. As I mentioned, over time that coating will chip and flake off, which in my view gives the brush a little character and shows that it's been used. Uh, but the, brush, the, the enamel coating and paint on the brush should be quite durable for some time after you've purchased it.